Hey guys, welcome back to Toge Techniques TV and Bridge Moto. We're here at the Toge Techniques and Bridge Moto compound, and we're gonna go over a cool little tip for the A86 guys. As a lot of you know, I build a lot of A86s. I build everything else, including rotaries, RBs, 2Js. But the A86s just seem to find their way to my garage. So I'm gonna throw a cool little tip up there uh, when it comes to clutch fans. I think there's a lot of misinformation when it comes to the utilization of a proper clutch fan, how they work, and their proper benefits when used in good condition. So I'm gonna dive into that really quick on a short video. So this is what a clutch fan looks like, obviously without the fan on there. Now this one's in a new condition, but I really, really like thermostatic clutch fans uh, when they're in good condition and you have the proper application. One of the issues I see is a lot of guys, they'll try to replace these with uh, the same uh, make, but not the same model clutch fan. And there's actually thermostatic differences between each clutch fan special to the engine application. So you definitely wanna make sure you're getting the right clutch fan. But outside of that, actually how this works is this coil will pick up temperature running through your radiator, the air that passes through your radiator that is, and the viscous clutch fluid inside of there actually expands and creates tension on the viscous clutch. And what that does is at low speed and, and low temperature, your uh, clutch will actually spin at a lower RPM. And as this heats up, the coil that is, that fluid creates tension on the clutch, and then what you get is a higher RPM. And this will actually uh, change RPMs in, re in regards to the temperature of the engine. And it'll actually change even when your temperature is higher or lower at operating temps or driving. So that's one of the reasons I like a clutch fan. Uh, a lot of guys, they'll switch to electric fan unnecessarily. And to me, it's a waste of money if it's an OEM plus or OEM application. Even in some uh, exhibition style application, I still use a clutch fan. I use them on RB25. I use them on uh, SR20 in uh, shop cars, use them in A86 shop car. So, Speaking from experience, they're great. You just gotta make sure that you have a good condition one and it's not worn out. Uh, and one of the ways to tell that is that you should have some resistance, but not a crazy amount. It shouldn't be locked up and it shouldn't spin freely either. Like like on a bearing or whatnot. Should have some tension there. Uh, and that's an easy way to tell. If it's spinning hand free, like you can take and you can spin the fan, then that clutch is worn out and you need to replace it with the exact application clutch fan that came off of it. So that's just an easy way to save money and get proper performance and have a variable speed fan that a regular CFM fan cannot give you. Now there are some ones that run off at e uh, ECU and that will give you that low and high speed. But to me, this is the cheapest alternative to an excellent cooling fan. And that's just something that I like to run on all my A86s and customer A86s. Hope this helps.